Switching gears now, the new All Women Corrections Facility in Lincoln is finally done. Yeah, they held an open house earlier today to get a look inside, and Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Kennedy Stillwater was there. Kennedy? That's right, Rod and Megan. A project nearly five years in the making will finally open its doors to 160 women. No longer going to house women in Omaha for work release. All the work release opportunities will be here. Women will start to move into the new facility on April 1st. It's located next to the Community Correction Center on West Van Dorn. Around 80 beds are already called for. They can come in, kind of release a little stress, work out. Besides being an all-female unit, one of the biggest differences is the training using trauma-informed approaches. Big part of what contributes to women coming into the criminal justice system and unfortunately ending up in the prison system was trauma. Frake says it's an environment that's conducive to engagement, thinking about how they can be successful and take advantage of all the things the center has to offer. Those folks an opportunity to come here, get the programming they need, get that work release, and be able to integrate back into society. This facility was made possible by a 26 million dollar request made to the legislature. Governor Rickett says the legislature is a great partner in helping reform Nebraska's correction system. This facility came in under budget so we were able to add about 100 beds at the Nebraska State Penitentiary as well. So this all is part of the effort to be able to reform our correction system. Part of that is investing in our physical plant here and this is a great step along the way. The facility currently brought in 22 jobs for Lincoln, but Frake said there will probably be room to grow. All right, Kennedy Stillwater from the newsroom. Thank you.